In this video, I will show you how to retopology your scriptings with the help of a programmed instance remesh. The low poly version of your mesh is needed for UV unwrapping, texture painting, or animation. To download the program, go to github.com slash wjacob slash instant meshes. Scroll down to the section pre-compiled binaries and click on the link according to your operating system. In this case, Microsoft Windows. To remesh an object, we must export the object first. Instant Meshes requires the format Wavefront OBJ. I opened a new Blender project and append the head of my project Lady Margot. Double click on the project file, go to Object and select the object Margot. Select the object, go to File, Export and click on Wavefront OBJ and hit Save. The next step is to open Instant Meshes. Unzip the downloaded archive. It should be 3.3 MB in size. Start the program. It should look like this. First, click on Open Mesh and navigate to the previously exported file. It takes a while until the program loads your file. You can rotate your object by holding down the left mouse button. Sometimes you see these artifacts while rotating your object. If it looks strange after loading, just rotate the object and the viewport should fix itself. I keep the settings on default. Target vertex count is a suggestion. For the tutorial, I leave this value for now. Under orientation field, we click on solve. After a few seconds, you will get a result like this. The guidelines indicate the quad flow. As you can see, we need to optimize this result. Click on the comp and start drawing new guidelines. I start drawing a straight line down the nose. After a few seconds, the program updates the guidelines. We need to do this on the whole model. Instant Meshes has no mirror modifier, so we need to correct each side. If the comp is active, you can't rotate the object. Deactivate the comp, rotate the object, and then continue drawing. Every stroke has a small x to delete in case you need to correct. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. The next step is to click on Solve under Position field. The program generates a low poly resolution of a quad flow. You can correct artifacts with a pen, like this area around the mouth. After drawing, the artifact is gone. When you are satisfied with the results, you can export the model. Go to Export Mesh and click on Extract Mesh. When you save the model, you must add .obj behind the file name, otherwise you get an error. Back in Blender, we are ready to see the result. Go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ and select the exported file. The model doesn't look too bad. It doesn't differ much from the original and in Edit Mode we see a better geometry than the original model. 
Since we didn't optimize the whole model, there are still some artifacts. For animation, the vertex count is still too high, I think. That's all for the short introduction to instant meshes and an alternative to the manual remesh process.